All right, so guys, welcome back. Today we return to the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. I was planning to record this video for the weekend, but truth be told, it's hard to go like four or five days without playing this game, you know? So, you know, the itch started to happen and well, here we are again. And besides the next several days are gonna be pretty busy. And um, I can't say why, but eventually there's, there's gonna be some pretty cool uh, games coming up here on the channel eventually that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So I decided we got to get some Red Dead 2 going on because the show must go on. And as always, this is the greatest game of all time, in my opinion. Okay, that's why I'm playing it again three years later because I'm just obsessed with the characters in the world. But you guys already know that. Thank you for being here. Sit back. Feel free to sit back. You don't have to, but you can feel free to sit back. You can even pause the video. Go grab a snack, a drink, wine, soda, water. It doesn't matter. I'm cracking a soda with you guys today. We are in absolutely no rush with this series. This is the series that we are taking our sweet time with. This, this series might last five months. I don't know. We'll see. We've got the birds tripping. We've got wild animals in the distance. I can hear them. Oh, I can hear them. God, what a beautiful game. I'm sorry. I say it every single episode. And I might say it every other episode too. So today we're gonna focus again a little bit more heavier on the story. I just really wanna get to the next chapter. Um, just again to change the scenery and, and the missions have really been going good and they've been really interesting. It's like every mission is just full of life man now mind you that doesn't mean that we aren't going to drift off for a side mission if one comes along but what the hell just sir are you responsible for this who let the simpleton out of the asylum wait all right just a boy just the leg hanging around. Wait, can I? Hold on a minute. That was probably a wild animal for sure. Well, I guess that's how we're starting today's episode. Someone got their foot eaten off. And it's none of my business. We're going to head over to John Marston. I know we have to go help Micah. Which I really don't because I hate that dude. There's a couple of characters in this game that I just don't like. And that's definitely one of them. But we're going to do them next. So we got to do what we got to do. First and foremost. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now. Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. <laughs> Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we. Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But. But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. <laughs> Sir? John, what are you doing? I was actually wanting to go to the barber shop and get a nice new little haircut, which we'll do eventually. Um, possibly after this mission, we'll see. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. 
Alright, we're gonna hitch the horse. Is that John's horse? Hey there. Hey there. Fella? Ooh, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, dude. I don't need a kick in the head. Oh. Oh. Stay. Oh. Hey, hey. How's it going? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get away from that horse before I get my teeth knocked out. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Hello. I like it. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. This is actually something I've been wanting to do. Thank God this mission has it, so. So view the rifles section of the catalog. We'll go to rifles. Okay. So select the rolling block rifle and press A. Which is free, of course. If it's full free, it's full me. Press B to return to the catalog. We have six hundred dollars. Holy smokes. Components. We got the rifling barrel. The improved rifling barrel. How much is that? $18? All up for a dollar? Okay. I mean, the gun was free. You might as well add something. Right? You never heard nobody? Okay, I think the medium is fine. We don't really need to add anything. You know what? That looks nice. I'm gonna add that. That's right. We're big money ballers. My name is Arthur Morgan. And I'm a criminal. I make... Or I, rather yet, I do criminal activities for a living. I don't know why I would brag about that, but I just thought I should. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. Perfect. I just spent like 50 bucks or so on this free weapon. That's why it's free. They catch you at the price and then you lose it all in the other expenses. Typically what happens in real life. Okay. Keep, keep that in mind. All right. So hold B to exit the catalog. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure. Rolling block rifle. All right, John. Let's get this. Good. Sure. Let's go. What a great way to start the episode with a good old pal, John. I feel like playing Red Dead Redemption okay, One all over boy. again, but I can't. I can't play the same games twice. Already done it twice with this game. I can't do it. Done what? Maybe I will. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. <laughs> if you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Oh, yes, yes. This mission is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I still haven't turned in the pelt, by the way. I'm sorry. I probably should have done that off camera, but I haven't. It's it's been probably rotten already. I don't, I don't know if it can get rotten, but if it could, it is for sure. It's been like six days. This is a fantastic episode right off the bat. This mission is great. 
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Hmm. Alright, let me go ahead and uh Damn. I was gonna wash the horse, but no, we'll do that after. I think John needs our attention okay. more than the horse. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Too near the ranchers to scare them. <laughs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. <laughs> all right, let's go round him up. All right, want your horse. All right, so I'll put the rifle behind us. Here we go. Right, go. Hold on, hold on, John. My horse is dirty, man. If we're gonna do something, we ought to do it in style. You know what I'm saying? Besides, this, this is a bonding Wait, moment. Before they all run off on us, let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? Hold on, guys. I gotta get some uh, some dead eye. I'm doing pretty bad in the dead eye department. I don't know if I have any tonics here. Yes, I do actually. No, you? Oh, day here, or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? Now, I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. All right, let's get it. For some reason, I think my horse is still You're dirty. All right, boy. You're all right, boy. So, I think this is the mission where we have to move near the strat. Yes, we did this in Red Dead Redemption 1 as well. Turn them to the herd. Okay, so the there's one all the way over here. Come on, come on, giddy up, come on. Move it up. Move it up. Let's go, sister. Back to your family. Move. Let's go. Gotta get all these that are highlighted, right? Yes. Man, it's been a minute. That's right, ladies. Let's go, stinking sheeps. Come on, I've killed plenty of sheeps in my day. Three episodes ago, I just went ham with a bow, so don't piss me off. Or you're next. I don't want to run him over. <laughs> just in case. You never know. Don't want to get too crazy. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You nice. know what, Marsh? Why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. This dude almost killed the sheeps. Wow, is that John right behind me? Yes. Alright, so when yeah, aiming a gun, point it. in the air by pressing a shoot to make a uh, herd move faster. No, come on, come on. By pressing up and shoot. While aiming gun in the air. Yo, let's go. That's hilarious. I don't think I've ever done that. Gotta maintain a constant speed. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah. Yo, that's freaking cool. 
<laughs> Let's go. I don't think I ever did that before, to be honest. An animal may break away from the group, so... We'll return to a strangler, no longer move with the herd. Okay, this one right here. Come on, giddy up. I got my scopes on you, asshole. I think we're doing just fine. I mean, I've never done this in real life, but I know that this is actually a thing. And I just want to say it's quite impressive. I mean, if I were a sheep, I probably wouldn't listen. I'd just run in my own direction. So, very impressive. I don't know what's more impressive. If the sheep actually listening or the actual farm person being able to handle 15 sheep at once. Keep moving, Keep moving mister. Let's go. Come on. Don't make me pull out the sniper again. No. No. I'm not going the wrong way, Marston. What are you talking about? You don't see this? I look like a damn professional. I'm a self-certified farm boy at work. I don't know if that made any sense, but it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not really a farm boy, so I'm allowed to make mistakes verbal mistakes Come on. damn we actually went all the way back over here holy crap that was a far distance yeah. Yeah. are you boys better pay up this is not free okay yeah. i'm just saying yeah. oh, it's an auction yard <laughs> Those are up, boys. There you go. anybody want to buy my bison pelt Fine sheep. they're okay oh, you seem better around here I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? At the saloon. Oh, boy. Hold on, Bucko. Let's go, boy. Let's go, John. You lead the way. Let's go. Can't pay you till they're sold now, can I? Eighteen <laughs> percent. I thought we was doing the right thing. <laughs> Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. And I would love a prequel to Red Dead 2, man. Imagine John Marston and, and this freaking Arthur Morgan as kids. Can you imagine that shit? Oh, dude. Not everything. But Come on, the sunshine. End, I don't believe I'll in absolutes. Just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for comp... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Hmm. Get out here! Get out what here now! Hell? 
You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Got where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Whomever he may be. You're still alive, dude? Jesus. It's like every time we come here, there's always trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. Get to the cart and cover. Hold on. Okay. Not a problem. Yo, what a crazy shootout, bro. Go for these headshots here. It's it's more challenging than it, than, than what it seems. Oftentimes. What a savage! Look at this dude over there at the stable. I bought a horse from you, asshole. at Valentine. Don't leave me here. Pick up Strauss. Oh, God. Ah, are you Strauss or not, or... Oh, he's gonna have to wait. Alpha! Come on, old man. You're unbelievable. Look at you. You're nothing but a liability, sir. Get the deal come from. On the back of John's horse. I got you, Strauss. All right, we're gonna storm. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. So sure. we can't stick around after this. Let's go. Damn. Freaking insane. All right, you know what? I need some dead eye stuff right here, real quick. I also need myself some, uh, that's not going to work. How about myself, uh, there we go. All right. So a lot of you were telling me, which was true. I had completely forgotten after the upgrade, you can select where you want to shoot the people. So it's more 
have a select shot versus just your dead eye shooting for you or selecting the spots for you. Oh boy, I got the best finger in the West. Look at that. Boom, sucker. Oh, that's not good. Oh shit. My good honor's at stake. Let's go. Is my horse hitched there? Hey, 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 not my horse. Blackie, let's go. Let's go, Blackie. Oh, man, we're going to have to come back and pay for, for a bounty here. Yeah, we're going to have to pay for the bounty. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. What do you call me, a cock-sucking bastard? Bro, I'm a dangerous cowboy from the West. Watch your tone around me, young man. Now, come on. Yep. We just gotta escape. I don't know if I really have to pay for the bounty right now. Yeah. Yep. Go. But I would like to escape the law. Yeah. Yeah, that mission's always been badass, dude. Because then it leads to another even more badass mission. Okay, so let me see the details. Get 25 headshots, complete with at least 70% accuracy. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Well, there goes that. I wish I knew the freaking objectives before. Maybe I'd have a better chance. You have committed enough crimes that the town has been locked down. Extra patrols have been posted and you can no longer use local shops. Sheesh. So we're actually going to head to Micah's mission. And I've thought about this, but the reason I'm going to do it this way is because I want to get rid of all the missions that we had pending prior to having to move out of Valentine. You know, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't want to move out of Valentine and then have to deal with a mission that kind of belongs during that chapter, if that makes any sense. So, to board the train, ride your horse alongside it and... Okay, that's fine. I'm going to pay my bounty. I think I'm Greetings. wanted here as well. Good to see you. Okay, pay bounty. I don't know if this, this is going to do anything for us. Acquired, Look at this. West Elizabeth, New Hanover. Hate to say it, but nice doing business with you. <laughs> I just spent so much money, I swear to God. Okay. Okay. Good. That's pretty good. Thanks, mister. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty freaking good. I mean I only spent like four hundred dollars. But I'm no longer a wanted man. Oh, I can roam boy. these streets with peace. Yeah. Lots of peace. Yeah, last time. I forgot what episode it was. It was like the third episode or the fourth episode. I came here. I didn't put it in the video, but I was just on my way to the mission, you know, to meet up with Lenny and the gang. And I just got smoked by the popo. Or the oh, law. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, 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 what's going on up there? I won't die to know. Oh. Mister? Oh, oh, you there. Please help me. Oh, it ain't no problem. Oh, this ain't my first rodeo. I got you. Oh, thank God. That animal is a goddamn menace. <laughs> you saved me, partner. Woo. I was almost a meal there. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck to you. Watch out for yellow eyes. I will, friend. I will. Well, you know what? Since I did kind of kill him. Let me see. If I, if I skin it for the skin. I've already got a pelt behind me. On my horse, but. Not to harvest all of the uh, uh, animal parts as you have no space to stow them. Bring your satchel and make space by pressing stow. 
Okay, so that's a smaller one, so I could store it back there. All right, that works. I don't want both of them anyways. I just yeah. wanted to make sure I could do that. It feels good to be able to roam these streets like this. Just ride my horse, not have to worry. I know I just spent a lot of money on the on the bounties, but yeah, come on. it's kind of like peace of mind. It's a beautiful world. No need to be part of this world all scared and shit. Ah. You know? Feels good to be a free man. Alright, Micah should be right up here. Or so I hope he is. Oh. Are you hiding there, sir? Little sneaky bastard. It's a pretty nice little spot, I'll tell you that much. Damn, Micah. I never knew you were capable of such things. Hey, Arthur. I still hate Good your to see ass. You. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? Ha <laughs> No. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Well, seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. Hey, where the hell's my pelt? Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute, Mike. What I didn't. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I, I dropped my pelt, bro. Poor bison pelt. It's poor, but it's still a pelt. <laughs> it's, yes, it's all rotten and raggedy. It's been here for a couple weeks now, but it's still pelt. That was no easy task, okay? What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Watch it. Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Triscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town <laughs> just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Man. I gotta kill this biatch. You know, there's always certain characters in games that you just don't like. <laughs> He's definitely one of them. Every every game, or almost every game, has a character. You're just, just like, man, I hate this dude. All 
Alright, Micah, talk to me. Is this a setup? And this looks awfully familiar, like, to the hill where at the end of the game. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. <laughs> Any minute, look at the time. <laughs> there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> eh, it's not right on time, but. Alright. Attack guards and stop the stagecoach. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, maybe you would have snuck up behind him. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I need some dead eye, you know what I'm saying? Nice little tonic. Let me show you how it's done, Micah. That's how you fucking do it, Micah. Micah, give me a sec. He has a nice horse, huh? I was gonna rob his horse. Never mind. Are you getting up? How hey, shut up. Next time I'll leave you in the dust. Um, I'm pretty sure if it weren't for me, you probably would have failed. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean Yeah! Maylock! Come on, boy! Come on, Black A! Said. Like butter off a knife. Some it's not over just yet. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right. Yeah. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. The main thing now is getting shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. Ah. <laughs> oh. What the hell? All right, is this the weapon he just gave us? Or is it this one, Lancaster or Peter? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't got time to be playing around. Let me 
show you how it's done, Micah. I'll show you how it's done, Micah. I, I missed that one. It's okay. Oh, he did. Oh, I even shot the horse in the head. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was pretty nice. Uh, Michael, are you gonna help me? Oh my god! Does he plan on helping us out or? Oh, he's right next to me, okay. Did I shoot the, the, the driver? I don't think, oh yeah, we did. Sorry, buckos. But good is not good enough. Bro, what is up with this bed today? Why is it every job I do with you comes in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh, you've got a point. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for the horse. You know, we should really pick up a lot of weight for one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. I feel freaking terrible, man, for the horse. Hey, give me a hand with this, will you? Take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. <sighs> Just thought you'd that to do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Damn, son. I don't remember having so much freaking money in this okay, game. Boy. Let's go. Dead Eye Core is empty. I mean, think about it. Javier Escuela. What happened to that mission you had for us, man? Robbing those people's houses? I've been looking forward to that. It hasn't been available for a while now. East. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. If I have a question. If we don't do, like, for example, the, the Javier Escuela mission now, when we leave this chapter, will we still be able to do it? Hmm. I hope so. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? 
Looks like I turned into the goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Hold on, let me go to the map and... There we go. Dutch is really good with the mouth, man. Oh, what, what the hell is my pelt? Why do I keep dropping it? Where are you going? Hold on, dude. I need to go to the trapper ASAP, bro. I keep dropping this pelt and it's starting to irritate me. Let's go, boy. All right, so do I follow Charles or I think I'm supposed to follow him. Charles, let's go, man. Where are we going? Find a uh, new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. So, man. we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, Better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got... <laughs> Damn it. Um... Charles? Don't come this way. <laughs> Charles, uh, what I was talking about. They've got Cornwall's money behind him for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Oh my god, I just busted my ass again. It doesn't fail. Wait, bro, how do we get out of here? Hold it. You know what? Oh my freaking. Yeah, I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Search the draw of the Dewberry Creek for any inhab inhabitants. Let me take an item here. Hey, I see something over there. See it? Someone oh. on the ground there. Investigate the body. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Shit. Oh, here we go. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. All right. Search the camp. Look, here it is. A few tents, but place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. 
The place looks empty, you say? Well, we've got some canned goods. Make me some canned vegetables. Canned sweet corn, I'm sorry. Kind of sort of the same thing. But clearly, they're still here. The fire is pretty Maybe lit. Everybody. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And be careful. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna have my gun out just in case. Wait, what? Someone's been here. Sure. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. I remember this. The family. I think they killed uh, her husband, right? It's probably the guy on the on the outside. It was being eaten by the by the vultures. Was that him? He said, "Are you okay?" Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Was it him? The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. All right, boy. Boy. Oh, there's the trail. All right, we'll go this way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're <laughs> wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So. What happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved <laughs> right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Look at the rabbit swimming. <laughs> That's the cutest shit ever. along the shore here now I was saying bastards told me they killed Mac said it right in front of Jack uh, that kid it's gonna be tough for him yeah but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Huh? He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. Wait, just... Let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. Anyway, you were saying. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that.
There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa. There's the camp for the settler. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Oh, that's right. This is where we stay up, right? Yeah. I think it's here. Man, oh man. Easy now. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to it defend. It sure is. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Oh, trap. I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Now? Not a problem. This man's one of them. Get bow. What I got bad honor, man. Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied. I'll see what they've left behind for us. I have no idea why I got bad honor. I killed someone that was attacking us, right? Alright, one second. So yeah, I was wrong completely. The guy to his family. The guy that was outside the camp, the first camp when we arrived here, was not the husband of the family. This is the husband of the family. So even though I've played the crap out of this game, there's things you still forget. That's why it's important to play again. You always you always have things that you don't remember. Whether it's fully or remember at all. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Alright, well, you're going back home, buddy. I guess it all worked out. Where is my damn pelt? I again. Right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. I gotta go to a trapper, man. This is becoming a hassle already. Oh, he can't fit back there. Whatever, it's just by Thank God I, I went to the trapper for the bear one. That would have sucked. I would have killed the legendary bear and then I wouldn't have been able to. I think you got it stored though, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure, but. Wo bringen sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Now, come on. His family is going to be happy to see him. That's for sure. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz. Andreas. Andreas. Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, 
Ähm, Namos. Dankeschön. Thank you. <lacht> Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. Full fucking gold bar. Damn, huh? The come up. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson. Put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Clemens Point, a few days later. The bandit challenge. The required gold ingots. We sold at any fence for a large profit. Look at this, man. Absolute beauty. New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. And this is why you want to advance in the story. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Really is nice to be by the water, huh? Morning. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. <laughs> yeah, just the way it is. Hey, Sadie. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. I won't pretend I know just Oh, my pet is still there. Awesome. Good fire here, Arthur. You all right, Bill? Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? It was time to move. Then it seems the same as always, and then it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll. <laughs> Sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Companions will something ask for... Sir. ...not <clears throat> retrieving an item. All right, so check this out. Let's go to this thing here. When a, oh, when a camp requests are fulfilled, they appear as the character question mark, uh, with the character in question check with them to complete, okay. Hmm. Interesting. What else do we have here? Photograph. Why don't you look at this? Our ex. <laughs> he left us alone. All alone. Again. How dare you, you sexy biatch. 
What is this? Is that a, is that a note as well? First bank robbery newspaper scrap. April 15th, 1897. Brazen bank robbery. Three men sought. Major TJ. Belfort has uh, been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what uh, transpired last week. It was about 2 o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, uh, through the door, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, eldest, one of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, obviously, that would be what? Hosea? <laughs> Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man bandaged a firearm and held it up to my face. Throw up your hand, sir. The third one said, who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath. And the leader said, my fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of the gold and, intru and, tr and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some, sta uh, some sacks which contained 5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was. And I pointed at three sacks containing silver. But it was too bulky for them. They retreated and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belfort told the reporter. The robbers are reported to have lingered in town and there are unproven claims that the men had traveled to hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans. Not too bad, Arthur. Look at our hair though, huh? I don't think our hair has grown too much. Our beard grows drastically fast. Should we shave? Nah, I'm not going to shave. I'm going to let that beard grow. All right, so here we go. I think we actually have... What is this over here? I think we have a side mission available. Is that so? Oh, it's Javier Escuela. Busy, Arthur? Yes, this is the mission I've been wanting to do with him. Rob a homestead, too, yes. Busy. Come on. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. <laughs> it's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. Are you kidding me? You know it? Sure. Fast. Are you freaking kidding me? Tranquilizate. Ah, oh, we're gonna fast travel there. Perfect. It's probably gonna allow us to fast travel there because we're so far away, you know? Then it'll probably take us somewhere where it's a little bit closer and then the dialogue will continue. Because we're supposed to do this mission when we're in Valentine. There it is. Oh, I like this new outfit too. It feels very refreshing. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Or maybe it just does this period. Love the white on Arthur. It looks really freaking nice. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <laughs> Javier Escuela. Oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars?
gathered. Always, baby. Always. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. Hmm. I've never done this mission. This is on you to me. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Have I ever done this? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. behind the shed see if we can hear what they're saying just stay quiet creepers spin don't score notions in the dippy plimmick's head where you been now newt don't be boiling now pappy i's gone but 10 minutes i was Holly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god. Oh, swanking heck. Hey, you can't be stepping in your door. Damn it! Nature's upon us. Come in your shoulder. Damn it, buddy. I just sounded improvised. What? I didn't. Bro! I mean, it wasn't my fault. I mean, maybe it was, but hey. shit. It's not like I, I did it on purpose. Oh, you know what? It's fine. Fuck it. We improvise. Bring out the shoddy. Bring out the fucking shoddy. We ain't playing around. We outlaws up in this bitch. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> Damn, son. I don't see any more of them. Damn, right. I feel so bad. Quick, let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. The thing here is this why don't they? Why doesn't the gang, like, look, we just took over this. What the just hell? Live here. Oh, sorry, dude. You know, just live here in this barn. I don't know why you just don't do that. You know what I mean? Could it be there or upstairs? Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Okay, so let's move it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Oh, well, 
Look what we have here. Very I nice, told Javier. You it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah. You take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. Damn, so fucked up, dude. <laughs> so messed up. <coughs> Little sort of cough. Yikes. Alright, did they leave anything upstairs? Yeah, they. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Poor woman, I freaking chopped off her leg. Oh. Wow, man. Busted, but this weapon is in poor condition. While well, they're selected, there we go. Ah, oh boy, wait, wait, wait. what did I get rid of? I right, clean this bad boy up. Not too shabby. Oh, hmm. What do we have here? Oh, look, another one of those cards. Interesting. Very nice. That's for that one character that we came across. Remember? He was into collecting cards. These people were pretty stacked. Being as weird as they fucking were. Pretty stacked indeed. Canned vegetables. Sweet corn. Very nice. All right, I think I've, I've 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 about done everything here for these guys. I've robbed them from everything, pretty much. Guys, I don't know if we'll ever be back around these streets. I'm pretty sure we will, but I don't know when. So I'm gonna take this time to take down another one of the bounties that we have. One of those high class end criminals. Yeah. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, let me show you. Right here. Right here. Flaco Hernandez. We've only, we've only done one of those guys, which was super freaking awesome. We're dying to see what, what happens when we target Flaco Hernandez. I have no idea where this this guy even is what part of the of the world he's in but i hope that it's not too cold because i don't know if i have clothes for that i mean unless i put the gear that i had in the beginning but hey mister help me how about we skip the small talking eh? sure dude how can i help you My boy. <laughs> Did he really try to rob me? Let me go this minute. This is very kind of you. <laughs> oh, now you're going to stay there. And I, you're lucky I'm in a rush. If not, I'd feed you to the wolves. Nice meeting you. Asshole. 
man try to... This man try to freaking... Unbelievable. Look at this. Search the camp for Flaco Hernandez. Just want to speak to Hernandez. Well, we don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! Well, have your way. That must have mistaken me, huh? I'm the most gangster gangster in the West. Flaco Hernandez. I'll be right with you, buddy. I'll be right with your ass. Don't you worry about a thing. What we got here? Now, I know a lot of you told me to... A lot of you were telling me to shoot his arm, like... Not his arm, but you could decide to kill him or not kill him, and then it drastically changes everything you know what i mean so i'm not gonna try to kill this one i'm gonna try and injure him and you know probably shoot him in the arm or his gun and see what happens flaco hernandez you in there i didn't want trouble but i'm just here to speak with you about boy calloway I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Black man. Well, King Gallo. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Come on. Really? Oh. I thought something would have happened. I tried shooting him multiple times, but. Damn, what a bad one. Hold on, I'll take a picture of him now. Let's just check here. Ah. Hmm. Blackwell's revolver. There we go. I mean, the sawed off shotgun is nice, but. Oh, that's right. Okay, let me take out the camera before I forget. <laughs> before I forget. Perfect. Flaco Hernandez. Let me see something. So, draw out of his cabin. The outlaw Flaco Hernandez fights duel. 
I was really hoping we'd get some sort of other dialogue within there. I don't know if I shot him in the wrong place or whatnot, but I was really, really hoping for that. All right, so we're going to rest about the campfire here. <sighs> well, that was uh, eventful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably cook some of this. I might actually rest here as well, to be honest. Plain prime beef. We need some of that. Mmm, delicious. I think we're in a good spot. I think we're pretty close to... I mean, definitely closer than where we're at. But we're pretty close to the horse. The Arabian white horse that I love so much. So, I don't know. Should we tame it on the next episode? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if we're close enough, then I'll do it. If not, we can always leave it for another episode. But, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I didn't think I was going to drift off this much, but we did. And it's totally fine. So, uh, thank you again. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one.